if that's of course, nobody has the answer to how big a role it will play. If I, if I go the other way around, where we are now in the North Sea, in the Baltic, on the Eastern seaboard of the US, at least in most areas of that, bottom fix will remain the norm because it is an established industry and we have the conditions for it. Having said that, there are big areas of the world that do not have this, what I consider to be an anomaly of water depth. We, we have this, our industry has developed around something that is not normal. The normal is that close to population centers, the water is not shallow. The 50 meters or 30 meters or whatever we have now is sort of unusual. So if we want to serve California, big parts of Japan, big parts of Taiwan, Korea, um, many other parts of the world, Brazil, big parts of Brazil, we will need to have floating turbines. And there, of course, is an additional barrier on top of what other barriers might exist for, for fixed bottom in that it is not yet serialized to a level where financing has become trivial. So we still need to cross that boundary of it having been the, the being the run of the mill. That we cross that for fixed bottom foundations back around 12, 13, and it's actually interestingly, people don't speak so much about it, but before that, ah, offshore wind sounds kind of risky, sounds sort of uh, dangerous. After around 12, 13, it has become, what other projects do we have we can put our money in? So it, it became financeable and mainstream and low risk by a certain volume level. And of course, we are nowhere there yet with floating. But I think that if you look at this in a sort of 30 year perspective, I think very large parts of the world will be served by floating and not by fixed, because you simply cannot install fixed foundations. I work myself with floating foundations, and of course I need to keep that separate. Um, if you look at, at the turbines, uh, there has been a range of turbine technologies, and we have homed in on two basically. They're both three bladed, one has a gearbox, the other one has a direct generator, so they have turned out to be the optimum. On foundations for fixed bottom, we have gravity, monopiles, jackets, uh, other things. Turns out that where you can get away with it, the monopile is the favorite. It tends to be like that. If you look at, at, at the modern uh, passenger aircraft, you need actually to be quite skilled in aircraft to see a difference between a Boeing and an Airbus. And uh, when the Russians or Chinese do a new plane, you need to be a skilled person to distinguish them from the European or American planes. Because it has turned out this is the way you do it. The same will happen here. So there will be two concepts or one or two or three, but a very small number of concepts that will turn out to be the long-term uh, winners in the game.